there is a menace on the loose, a pest that threatens the farm industry from shore to shore in Canada. And it's at large right here in Alberta. This hazard is an infectious disease called Fusarium. This disease is caused by different species of Fusarium, and the most aggressive and damaging of these by far is Fusarium graminarum, or FG. In 1999, it was declared a pest under the Alberta Agricultural Pests Act. This fusarium pest must be stopped, and we need your help. Don't assume it's not in your backyard. Fusarium causes significant losses in cereals and corn. This menace has been sneaking into Alberta, especially in irrigated areas. Why is it so dangerous? Because fusarium leads to the production of mycotoxins, poisonous chemicals produced by the fungi that have invaded our crops. Fusarium infection and mycotoxins have a direct effect on the baking and milling quality of wheat. Malting companies reject barley that is suspected to have fusarium because the mycotoxins cause excessive foaming. It goes even further. Animals that eat mycotoxin-contaminated feed get sick, eat less, grow less, and can have birth defects. If we are to defeat the enemy, we must know how it works. For fusarium to occur, you need a host, a pathogen, and a favorable environment. Fusarium can spread in many ways. Spores are spread through wind, rain splash, and infected grain and straw. When it is left to spread, fusarium has a direct effect on the market. It has cost Alberta producers millions of dollars per year in lost revenues due to reduced yield and downgrading. That's the bottom line. Fusarium impacts your bottom line. So what can you do to stop the spread and impact of this pest? Choose a cultivar that has improved levels of resistance. Select healthy seed that has been tested and proven to be free of fusarium and treated with a registered fungicide seed treatment. Rotate your crops to keep host plants like cereals and corn out of the rotation for at least three years. What else can you do? When irrigating, give your crops all the moisture they need before they start to flower. Don't water when the crop is flowering, or you'll run the risk of getting fusarium. Be vigilant. Apply a fungicide at the early flowering stage if the risk level is moderate to high. Your window for fungicide application is only about 10 days, and you need to get the fungicide on before symptoms occur. Remember, fungicides only provide suppression and may only reduce mycotoxin levels. In late July to early August, watch for premature bleaching of one or more spikelets in grain heads, which could indicate a fusarium problem in the future. All fusarium species display the same symptoms, so a lab test will be needed to confirm if it is fusarium graminarum. Handle all infected seed appropriately. If you suspect fusarium is present and intend to use grain or crop residue for livestock feed, particularly when feeding pigs or chickens, get it tested for mycotoxin levels. And try to limit the movement of seed and crop residues into other fields. By working together and implementing these management practices, we can all help prevent and manage fusarium. Remember, test, treat, plant, and spray. Do your part. Protect your bottom line and keep this menace in check. Check out Alberta's Fusarium Management Plan on the Agriculture and Forestry website for more detail about how to prevent or manage Fusarium graminarum.